really the issue is to invest in developing people and people develop nature and the environment, etc. The more we consume, the healthier our economy gets, but the more toxic nature and humanity become. And that is the paradox we are in. If we want to really be free, we have to be more independent on the level of food production, energy production, water efficiency. We have major problems. I mean, other than the climate, the destruction that we have is much faster than what climate will destroy. In 2008 and 2012 and 2014, I was subjected to three wars. Due to blockage, there was no access to building materials in Gaza. With the green cake, we started using ashes and wrappers from the destroyed houses instead of aggregate and sand. We developed a system that's called the Freedom Machine. It's a combination of hydroponic, aquaponic farming methods, but it combines with it also other technologies. If we make our houses more energy efficient and more as production units, as just consumption units, this is the infrastructure that we need in order to have a genuine freedom. We have a sorting facility in Beirut. We take all non-organic materials, like we take plastic, paper, glass, metal. We are creating jobs for vulnerable people. Most of them are refugees, Syrians and Palestinian refugees. We produce uh, more than four tons of recycling every day, and these four tons are going uh, to other facilities and these facilities uh, have more uh, workers. So it's like affecting in many ways. It's a conscious platform where we are aiming to really drive a collective action for system change. We are trying to do this through redeveloping the Lebanese circular economy, which is important to us. So it's a user generated interface. We've listed these sectors, which we, we understand as the sectors of change. For example, if you're interested in recycling, you can go in and start to see, oh, who's recycling uh, what? And you can go into more details, for instance, and start to see, let's say, in plastic, these are the people recycling plastic. And here you can see, you know, I have an edible garden, or I want to make an edible garden. It's highlighting the way that they can connect to the resources on the map that show you uh, where you can buy your tools, who you can get your seeds from. And it's also highlights how we can, in the future, really develop this uh, local sustainability model.